Hi everyone, this is Vera from Souls Enlightenment along with Christ our beautiful Christina. <laughs> and we wanted to talk about past lives and one of the ones that Christina actually wanted to pick was Vigo. I can never say his last name. Mortison. Mortison. Yeah, he he's had many roles, but one of my favorite is in Lord of the Rings, he played Aragorn. Oh my god. And he, he was perfect for that role. And I really wanted to know a little bit about, you know, if you could pick up on a past life about him. It just, I don't know. For those of you who might be Lord of the Ring fans and saw that movie, it just, that, like that role was made for him. For him, exactly. And I don't know, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, the past life that I pick up on is with his horse. The horse from uh, Lord of the Rings. You know, this makes so much sense oh my gosh, yes. because we were talking also about how he he wanted that horse and he, he bought the horse, right? Yeah, and the horse was supposed to be a little difficult, but when he was around Vigo, just calmed he his soul. Just, they were just meant to be together because they were together before. You know, he that was his sword in the Templar light. I mean, his sword, his, his, horse? his horse in the Templar light, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, they've, wow. they've been together before. That makes so much sense. Yeah. And I think even in, in other lives, too, besides that one. But that's the one that comes to mind right now is the Templar wow. life. And they went through thick and thin together, you know. Wow. And he made it, uh, the horse helped him in so many situations and vice versa. And they made it out alive. Where Are you serious? People, yeah, a lot of Templars didn't make it, you know, oh, because yeah. they were being crucified. Right. So yeah, they had. So it was at that time because there were just Templars so in so many you know for hundreds of years, right, right? right? But it was during that time when they were being crucified. Right. Wow. Right. Yeah. And they made it out. Yeah. This is so cool. And they just cool. had this connection because the two of them were alone so much, you know. So it was just a how how would you say it like a relationship made in heaven because. That's his work. Information that uh, Vera discovered not not long ago, it's been a little while, but that animals do in fact reincarnate, and we sometimes have lives with our pets with over our, and over. Yeah, again. with these you know. different animals because right. we form a bond with them just like we do with people. Yeah, just like my son with his dog that he had. That was the story I was thinking for about. For ten years, uh, his American Bulldog, and he had that dog. With him in World War One, I, I think it was. You know, they were together then. So I don't know. I know that people have said, and you know, Sylvia, one of them, that we don't, re the animals don't reincarnate. But you know, for, I never resonated to that. Almost, and mostly because of my son's situation. You know, because they, it was just they loved each other so much. Well, and not that any other pet doesn't love their, their owner, but there was just something about that dog with him. You know? Well, I just wanted to add, too, Vera was mentioning Sylvia. She's talking about Sylvia Brown, who was a psychic. And uh, one of the things, though, that she also said at one point was that angels don't have wings. And then a number of years later, she discovered, in fact, they do have wings. So this is a philosophy that's a living philosophy and, and it's she's a growing mentioned that philosophy many times. and she's mentioned that yeah. many times I just wanted to add that yeah. um, so you know because the information builds and builds right. and there's more there's always more yeah that's one of the yeah. things that's such an exciting adventure exactly. to be a part of these new discoveries that came yeah. coming out but with um, Vigo that's fascinating yeah about him yeah. I wanted to I wanted to point out real quick too that if I was gonna hang something, a, a canvas in Vigo's home, it would be the call, oh. and I'm usually recommending angels, but the call is when we all have a calling in our life, it's our purpose and what we're meant to do, it reminds me of his Templar life right. and his, you know, his, yeah. his purpose, and um, that's always in our soul. You know, it comes across on film. He might be an actor, but I don't know. Yeah. He just plays that role too well. And um, also in the call, it's not only the call, you know, our calling, but she's with a horse. She's a medieval maiden right. with a horse, and that would be to show that special yeah. bond. And he's an artist yeah. too. I didn't know that. Yeah, he he draw. He's 
paints and draws and does everything. I didn't know that, that yeah. he did art too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? Artists connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Vera, if you were going to pass on something to Vigo. To Vigo, oh, yeah. it's, you know. Or people like him. That have a, but, uh, an animal that they know that they've been with before. You know, even though you may have had the philosophy that animals don't reincarnate, animals have souls. Animals help you in your in your chart, you know, so it's not wrong for you to think that your animal is here to help you too. The ones that you've been with before and before and had this, this history with, you know. So utilize that strength that you get from the animal, from your past lives, like Vigo with him, it was survival. And he helped in this lifetime his horse survive. You know, because he, so he didn't know what was going to happen to his horse once the shooting was over. Oh, wow. So he, yeah. act, he had him shipped over. He bought him and had him shipped to the United States. That is so neat. Yeah. That is so neat. Yeah. So he rescued his horse in this life like his horse rescued him in the temporary life. So. Well, thank you for joining yeah. us today, and we'll see you next Saturday.